I'm here now with Tom Larscheid, the inductee in the media category for 2011. Uh, tell me, Tom, how does it feel to be inducted from the BC Sports Hall of Fame? It feels great. It really does. It's, uh, it's the ultimate honor to me. Uh, I am so excited about it. It's, it's a, a terrific recognition, and I'm humbled by that. Uh, it's just so nice to be recognized for your body of work in the city that you've lived in all these years. Uh, I've been a broadcaster for parts of five decades. Uh, I'm an old guy now, but uh, never too old to enjoy a moment like today uh, when it's been announced that I'm joining this wonderful class of inductees. We're all excited about it, and what else can I tell you? Sport has been my life. For a lot of us, you, you were one of the voices of the Canucks for over three decades. Can you pick out one? Just the fact that I was able to last as long as I did, really. Uh, you know, the odds makers uh, didn't give me uh, much of a chance, you know, when I jumped in the broadcast booth with Jim Robson uh, back in 1977. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to describe. Probably the, the most exciting moment was the run to the 94 Stanley Cup final. It, it just doesn't get any better than that. Uh, to lose the seventh and deciding game by one little stinking goal and a goal post by Lafayette could have tied it. The Rangers were back on their heels, and I'll tell you, Jim Robson and I were just on the edge of our seats uh, praying and hoping that the time had finally come that the Vancouver Canucks were going to win a Stanley Cup. <laughs> Well, it didn't happen, and uh, you know, uh, my, my biggest dream was to, to have been able to say the Vancouver Canucks are Stanley Cup champions. People have heard me say that many, many times. Uh, that won't happen for me now on the airwaves, uh, but it sure would have been fun, uh, uh, and it would have been exciting for this whole city, and, but you know what? The way the guys are going right now, this might be the year. That's my next question. <laughs> what, what do you think of the team this year? Oh, I love the team. Uh, you know what I love about the team is what they are how they've grown up and matured as a group. The guys that have been together for some time now. Isn't it interesting you see comments like, we want to be accountable to each other. We want to be accountable to the fans. We want to be accountable to the performance. Aren't those all the things I used to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's required though to be a champion. You know, to be the best that you can be, to deliver your best when the best is needed. Those are the things that are required to be a champion. And I think this group right now, are displaying all those attributes and I'm pulling for them. Do you know some of my best color commentary has been this year, but it's been in my living room and only my wife has listened to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I'm a big Canuck fan as everybody is in our city and I, I hope like all of us that uh, there'll be a big parade in Vancouver come June. Just, just last question. Where do you get the energy? I mean, it comes across in the airwaves, it comes across in your interviews. Where do you get the energy? Oh, I don't know. I, I just, uh, I have a passion for life. I have a passion certainly for sport. Uh, you know, I'm one of nine children and my mother and father uh, stress so strongly to my brothers and sisters as well as me to get involved in sports, to go to the playground, to be part of a team. Or, or even if you wanted to go into an individual sport, like golf or tennis, if that's really uh, what you like, they encouraged us so much. We didn't have money, so we had to go where things were cheap. <laughs> and so that's where I got involved in sport, and it led me to getting a scholarship to college on football. It brought me to Vancouver as a professional athlete. And then lo and behold, I made this my home. I'm now a Canadian citizen who I'm so proud of, and I love hockey. Uh, I got in, uh, you know, I never played hockey, as everyone knows, uh, but it's a sport I would have loved to have played. It, uh, it has the speed and the skill and the bodily contact, all those things that uh, make it uh, the best spectator sport in the world. So you say, where does that enthusiasm come from? I guess it comes from enjoying what I like to do. And I've enjoyed my run. And now as I go into retirement, uh, you know, I, I'm not bitter or, or upset about anything. It's time. It's, uh, it's a new phase in my life. And I don't look at it like uh, it's the end of the line for me. You know, I, I still work at keeping my feet on the ground. But I have to tell you, I'll never stop reaching for the stars. <laughs> never. Sounds good. Thanks. Congratulations in your day. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you.